Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another reading. This reading will be all about your person and your connection, what's going on there and how do you feel about each other. As always, keep in mind these readings are general, so they will not resonate with everyone. So let's jump right in for Sagittarius. For angels, guides, messages, please guidance. For Sagittarius regarding the person that they are thinking about, or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? What do we need to know for Sagittarius regarding love relationship? All right, so let's ask Spirit first what's going on in your connection. What's going on in this connection between Sagittarius and their person Spirit? What's going on in this connection? The Empress Reverse going on in this connection okay we have death reverse Scorpio energy what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection Queen of Wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy bottom of the deck the ace of swords so with Empress reverse and death reverse I'm getting like two very opposing conflicting energies uh, the Empress Reverse could be an um, energy that's regarding things that are not growing, that are not manifesting, someone that is not able to create or manifest. They don't have the resources or perhaps they put their resources in the wrong place. The Empress Reverse could also be somebody that's upset. They are not getting what they desire, so that makes them frustrated and, you know, they could even be controlling. Um death reverse is a card about things that are needing to change or end but there's some sort of resistance there's a delay or someone that is unable to really have this ending or transformation um they could be fighting it resisting it so it's almost like for some reason i see these two energies fighting with each other because something should end because it's not growing. That's kind of what I'm seeing so far, that something should have, ha have already ended or changed at least, but there's a resistance there. And I don't understand because with Empress Reverse, that's telling me that something's not working. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, she usually gets what she wants. Queen of Wands is very persistent, creative. bold. So I get the sense that someone in this connection has some sort of desire. You could be dealing with a fire sign or a Scorpio. It does not have to be, but it just happens to be the signs that showed up here. Um, tell me more about this connection. Oh my god okay sweet dreams tell me more about this connection between Sagittarius and this other person this Queen of Wands could be you Sagittarius maybe you're the one that's kind of trying to figure out what you can do here since something's not really working out the way that you hoped or expected okay so we have success fun timeout judgment call Sweet Dreams is telling me somebody has some sort of dream or fantasy, something they're imagining. Maybe they want success. Maybe they want things to be fun or happy again. But with Time Out, I'm getting almost like things have been at a standstill here. I'm not getting timing or patience issues. I mean, I'm, this Queen of Wands is definitely not patient, but that's just what I'm getting from the, the energy I'm picking up, I guess you should, I should say. So let's look at your energy separately here. Tell me about Sagittarius. I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius. Queen of Swords. Strength, Leo energy. Oh yeah, you're, um, you're motivated. I feel like you know something very important with the Queen of Swords. It's almost like you're armed. I don't 
why I'm getting this energy, but you are armed with information or with clarity. I also get the sense that you are not easy to mess with right now. Tell me about this other person. Tell me about the other person, Sagittarius. This hazard we'll be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? Seven of Wands, reverse. Two of Wands, reverse. Can I get one more? Get one more. For this other person. Justice, reverse. Yeah. Um, this person over here, when I saw the Seven of Wands reverse, I was like, they don't have the capacity or the strength to fight back. And it makes sense. Ten of Wands is reverse here as well. This person is very close to giving up, I feel. Um, maybe they're overwhelmed with the fact that things are not happening the way they hoped. With uh, Justice is reverse. Sleeper energy there. And it's almost like they're not doing well. Um, now the two of wands is reversed, so sometimes this card can mean that someone cannot choose a path, they want to kind of tow both paths, and that's pretty impossible. What's behind this? Ten of pentacles, and what's behind that? The wheel. Yeah, I feel like this person, maybe there's a burden that they need to drop here to turn things around with the wheel, an opportunity for balance, for harmony, for peace. But uh, I don't think they're there yet because in, instead of um, standing their ground and fighting back, they're not doing that. I feel like this person is more like giving in or giving up before they even start, something like that. Let me move this back. So let's see what we can get here when we clarify the energies. Let me get one more for you as well. I'm just curious because you are, so, um, I sense that your energy is very strong, very firm. Tell me about Sagittarius. What do we need to know about Sagittarius? What do we need to know about Sagittarius? Eight of Cups reverse. And judgment at the bottom of the deck. So I, I get the sense that you're the one that's making some sort of important call or decision here. You're calling the shots in a way. But the Eight of Cups is reverse. So, hmm. I'm thinking of this death reverse. Uh, the Eight of Cups could be that someone wants to leave or needs to leave a situation, but they're delayed or resistant to that. It could also be someone returning as well. So let's clarify and get some insight here. Get some insight, please, for Sagittarius. What do we need to know about these energies? What do we need to know? Oh my god, I just dropped most of my cards. Great. Oh wait, no, I did it. Oh, the Seven of Wands was at the bottom there. Wow, the tower. Okay. What's at the bottom? Four of Swords. Okay. Let's do one more shuffle just in case. Okay, why is the death card reversed? That's the one that really is like worrying me, I guess. I, sh I mean, that's one way to put it. Why is death reverse, Spirit? What's going on here with death reverse? Knight of Cups, death, yeah. So Scorpio energy with death, we already went over that. Five of Swords at the bottom. Something I feel should have already ended or changed here or needs to. It might have already happened there. I mean, because the Knight of Cups is here. So I'm getting almost like maybe someone apologizing for this or offering you some sort of, I don't know, offering you something. <laughs> um, I'm getting that some of you, someone instead of ending something is giving you some sort of lip service. That's not for everyone, but I'm getting that someone's coming to you with a Knight of Cups with a cup instead of an ending. Five of Swords is here, so I feel like there's some sort of conflict that should have already ended, or situation that should have already been handled. Why is death here? Reverse, why is death reverse? Why is death reverse? Justice, Libra energy, yeah, these two are connected, so it's almost like yeah, there's the Four of Wands. This is a good thing. This ending or change would bring about some sort of balance. 
this is right, this is fair, this is just. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. Why is the Empress Reverse? Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. And then I'll kind of look at all of this together. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Temperance, there you are Sagittarius. I feel like there's something here. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles, I'm thinking timing. Something that's taking a while. I feel like you've been forced to be patient, but that's not what you are. It's almost like I'm getting like a frustrated energy from you or like this energy of wanting to do something, but you can't do it. Can I get one more for the Queen of Wands? Yeah, Two of Wands. I feel like you've been, you're being forced to wait and be patient. So maybe you already know that something should have ended or changed, and maybe this is something you have to end or change, but you're being forced to wait. Maybe this is something your person has to end or change, and they're being forced to wait, maybe because of a legal matter, it's taking some time, or perhaps, and I get the sense also, like this Empress Reverse with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, it's almost like an opportunity or an offer to that would make you very happy, but right now you're an Empress Reverse. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing an important thing here. Yeah, there's a Seven of Pentacles again. So I feel like you're waiting and, and not very sure of the outcome here. Maybe you have doubts over the outcome. Yeah, and it's like you wish you could just take matters into your own hands. King of Wands, you wish you would just be able to just take charge and, and address this situation. I feel like you're this Queen of Swords because I think you're running out of patience. Strength showed up again here. Strength is on your side, Leo energy. So it's like, it's not that you don't have the courage and it's not that you don't have the strength. It's something else. And I don't know. You, ha you have the ten of, Two of Wands here with the Temperance card, but then your person has the Two of Wands reverse. So it's maybe, maybe you've been waiting for this person to make a decision of some sort. And in waiting, it's almost like, I don't know, maybe you're just tired of waiting or having doubts. Let's see what else I get. Let me um, put down some oracles for you, you and this other person. Maybe I could do it like this for them. So I can move them on this side. Okay, so let me put down some energies for you and this other person. Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection at this time, Spirit. Tell me about Sagittarius. Oh my God, it's way too many. Dragonfly Bee Lizard. Look at the dragonfly. I always confuse this with the moth. Always, like it never fails. Pretty sure this is about illusions, but let's see. Yeah, master of light, illusion, and the mind. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. And the lizard is has a sixth sense. The lizard is an introvert, a natural introvert. I feel like they absorb a lot of things. Um, it has like a sixth sense. It hears what's yet to be spoken and sees what is yet to manifest. Although this is an amazing gift, it can easily wear the lizard down. Pull back and return to the inner artist. So I think you already are aware of something. And that's why I got here with the Queen of Swords. You are already aware 
of a situation that maybe doesn't isn't what it seems and the B is all about you know working together being very busy democratic um, team player hardworking For the most part, they have bustling, joyous personalities until they're too tired from all the work. So I get the sense that there's something that you've, okay, this is kind of the story that I'm building here. I think that you have put your all into something Sagittarius and you're worn out. I also get the sense that you are, you are a doer. You are someone that gets things done in a connection, especially, or just in your life. And it's not easy for you to step aside and kind of let someone else take the reins or, you know, wait to see what happens. I feel like you want to be an active participant in whatever's going on. But this is a situation where you are being forced to wait. There's the crocodile. Wait and see. Um, wait for the right time. And it's not sitting well with you because the longer you wait, the more your instincts are picking up that something's off. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. The otter. Young. Okay, you're dealing with someone that's immature. Why am I getting that message so strongly? This is not what the otter is about. The otter is typically a very fun, um, young outgoing energy they're very playful uh, content very joyful but I'm getting young I'm getting that you're dealing with someone young emotionally or in any other way I feel like this person could even be younger than you The otter also reminds me a little bit of the fool because they have this like energy of optimism. They don't really have doubts or worries. But this is not, I'm not picking up great energy here because this is someone that would make excuses or be concerned about having more fun and having like a very young viewpoint on things and uh, maybe they just lack maturity and so this is not someone that i would trust to like handle situations this could be temporary but this is just the energy that's showing up can i know can i get some more insight on this other person Maybe they are just overwhelmed with the idea of taking charge of this particular situation. Maybe normally they are go-getters and take care of issues, but not right now. Mm. This is reminding me of the Knight of Cups, this gift. It's a, it's a distraction. It's a distraction. This gift is a distraction. They're going to give you something to distract you. Yeah, there's the coffin again endings that's death cycles ending situations ending tell me um about an energy here for sagittarius <clears throat> what do we need to know for sagittarius courtship <clears throat> unexpected income change marriage courtship is very young um early relationship early um stages in a relationship oh my gosh i'm already at 21 minutes okay let me hurry up here because i haven't even clarified your energies here can i get one more for this person sagittarius is dealing with what do we need to know about their thoughts feelings energies i have a choice to make okay can i get one for sagittarius we need to know about Sagittarius. I want to fix this. 
Yeah, I'm and again, I get the sense, Sagittarius, that you are just you want action. You need to see action. You need to have that reassurance that things are being handled. And I don't think you're getting that reassurance right now. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Working together, Queen of Pentacles. There's judgment again. There's something that you have like, it's like maybe you have a final decision to make or a judgment call to make. Because perhaps with the Six of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles, Maybe you're the one putting in all the work. Maybe you're the one that's putting in all of the cooperation, collaborating, wanting to talk things out, work things out. Yeah, King of Swords. I feel like you're the one that is the mature one here, is open and honest about things, is willing to talk about things, um, look at things in a logical way. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. But I think I'm speaking to a Sagittarius where the longer that you are in this situation, the worse it becomes because you are now having reasons to doubt. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. Tell me if this is resonating for you in the comments because I feel like this is a specific message for someone. Why is Eight of Cups reverse? Ten of Pentacles and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Maybe someone's in an attachment and they cannot leave this attachment. They're holding on the devil and the four of pentacles or being held on to something maybe has a hold on a particular person, maybe a marriage, a commitment, a family situation. But the eight of cups reverse is telling me that someone isn't able to leave or hasn't left. Tell me about strength. You want more for strength. High Priestess, you know something, yeah. The Tower, you have some sort of instinct about this, Sagittarius. Your intuition is warning you. You're being warned. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. Like, like I said, it's almost like all of this waiting around is making you question things but it's for a reason there's a reason why you're questioning things i think a tower is looming or a tower should have already happened yeah but someone is is not they don't have what it takes and i think it's this person tell me about the two of wands reverse tell me about the two of wands reverse yeah, the higher font. I think they have to a choice to make about committing to something or a commitment that they are in. Tell me about justice reverse. Oh yeah, this is about where they live or their home life. Things are not great there. Tell me about the seven of wands reverse. Yeah, but they're not doing anything about it. The hangman. They don't have what it takes to fight back, at least not right now. But I feel like they're going to give you some something else instead of what you truly want. Can I get one more for this person's energy? Can I get some more insight into this person's energy? Yeah, three of wands. They're going to wait. And they'll make you wait. There's a ten of swords. It's like there's death or an ending that's just like looming around this whole spread. This whole reading. There's been this concept or theme um, where there has to be an ending or there will be an ending, a difficult one. But for some reason, instead of the 10 of swords, we're getting a three of wands. And I don't see your person taking any action. I mean, they have a choice to make. Tell me about the two of wands. Okay, there's a six of cups. Tell me about the two of wands reverse got Taurus energy here with the higher font. Tell me about the two of wands reverse. Tell me about the two of wands reverse. 
nine of swords and the six of wands so they don't even know if they'll be successful if they were to make this offer if they were to have this ace of wands which i feel would involve you perhaps they're scared nine of swords they're worried yeah there's that seven of pentacles again and so this they retreat back to being anxious and not sure if this would be the best decision knight of wands three of cups i think the third party is preventing this person from taking action but something tells me if they're telling you that that's not the complete truth that's not the whole story it's not just this other person it's not just this other person this other person could literally beg them to stay but they still have a choice this other person could threaten them but really at the end of the day we all have a choice yeah we all have a choice there's the moon pisces energy with the hangman i was just curious to see why the hangman is here and it's because they have doubts and fears there's illusions here tied to action so be very careful I'm going to take this to the extended because I want to know where all of this is headed. What's next? What can you expect from this person? What can you expect that would happen next in this connection? I'm going to dive deep into that because I feel like 